Well, for this Halloween, you have to make sure candy doesn't melt because look how warm it's gonna be today. So record high in Albany today is 75 degrees. That's back not too long ago, 2019. Glens Falls, 75, 1942. Poughkeepsie, 78, 1946. These are the climate sites across the area that keep track of this data. We're calling for 80 Albany, 77 Glens Falls, and 81 degrees in Poughkeepsie on this Halloween 2024. Just unbelievable. Glens Falls right now, Fryhofer Skycam, up to 70 degrees there. 72 Albany, how about 75 on Broadway in Saratoga Springs? 73 degrees Hudson, 74 Poughkeepsie, and 74 in Utica. So no matter where you are, this is going to be a borderline hot Halloween this year. 76 in Boston, 72 Philly. Try to find the cold front. It's probably not too difficult to find. It's in the 40s in Omaha. It's snowing in Minneapolis. And this front is going to bring us back down to earth. But it's not here until about 24 hours from now. At least that's when temperatures really start to drop. So in the meantime, we are enjoying this almost late August to early September feel outside. Humidity is also up a drop, so it does not feel like the end of October. Very warm air is in place with high pressure off towards our east, sort of bringing this heat pump directly overhead. There's the cold front off towards our west, and again, that moves in around the morning to early afternoon tomorrow. Out ahead of it today, we're extremely warm. Any sort of parades taking place at school, just a mix of clouds around, temperatures in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. And with a wind that starts to develop later this afternoon into the evening, that holds temperatures at quite elevated levels even right through the evening. So trick-or-treating time right around around 70 degrees with a breeze around. There can be some showers way off towards the west in the early evening, but it doesn't get into the local region until after midnight. We're talking one, two in the morning with just some spotty showers. Better coverage will be off towards the north and west, closer towards the Adirondacks. But for everyone locally, this happens very late at night. Could be a stray shower lingering in the morning tomorrow. The front still doesn't totally cross through until the late morning, so at ahead of it, we're still very warm early, near 70 degrees. This is 1030 in the morning, but watch what happens into the afternoon. Numbers begin to fall, and by 5, 6 o'clock, we're tumbling into the low 60s, mid 50s, with a gusty, cool wind setting on up. So for tomorrow, high temperature 65 to 70, but that happens very early into the afternoon. Numbers are starting to fall for the first day of November. That will set us up for a cool night tomorrow night, and by Saturday, it feels back to what it should for early November, 50 to 50. 55 degrees, mostly sunny, and Sunday's also going to be a, a very sunny day, just on the cooler side, 51 to 56 degrees. That morning, we could start off in the upper 20s to low 30s across the area. So this afternoon, 75 to 80 degrees, that record should surely fall in Albany from 2019 of 75 degrees. Winds pick up this afternoon. Tonight, an extremely mild night for trick-or-treating. It's upper 50s to low to mid 60s. Showers hold off until very late at night. Could be a few showers early tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it's warm to start, but numbers are falling into the afternoon, turning quite gusty the second half of the day. And by tomorrow night, much cooler upper 30s to low 40s. So it's a busy next few days. We have Halloween today. We set our clocks back Saturday night into Sunday, a cool weekend, and then we'll start to warm up. A warm front crosses the area on Monday. That could bring a few showers. But it looks like for Election Day, we're mild. It's a breezy day. And then maybe by Wednesday, the day after, a few showers are possible. Lara? What a roller coaster. I'll take the warm trick-or-treating, though. I appreciate that.